What's up, guys? I'm back. Okay, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh. We're super sport enthusiast, baby. Please hit that like button and subscribe button right now. Like, subscribe. You already know. All right, let's get this channel growing and let's talk. Guys, I want to talk about this. Last time we did a video um, based on quickest cars that, you know, braking, you know, braking system. Well, what's the best braking system on the cars? All right, who did the fastest zero light 70 to zero was the times now we're gonna do the quickest zero to 60 tests i believe we got 11 cars on the lineup so let's go ahead and get right into it love you guys let's go peace real talk yeah. just rap pack but that yeah. nobody i trust back again like i never left young son i said us to the death we turned up till we go deaf rep rap packs on my last breath i cut records like all right, guys, coming in at number 11. Yes, it's an SUV. It's big, it's beautiful. It starts with an L and it ends with an I. All right, that is a 2019 Lamborghini Urus, baby. Yes, coming in at 3.1 seconds, okay? The Lamborghini Urus is the quickest SUV that they have tested on the cars and drivers yet again. Uh, decade has saw the impressive development of this supercar um, contending is a supercar, super SUV, whatever you want to call it. High performance sport utility vehicle. The Urus is the quickest for now, blasting to 60 miles an hour in 3.1 seconds. That is ridiculous. Beautiful, beautiful car. I think it's amazing. I've seen some crazy videos of this car, uh, SUV stock beating a Huracan stock, which is ridiculous but it's up to you guys and you know just let me know what you think on that again this was tested about in october this suv starts for about two hundred and forty three thousand dollars uh base price around 203 so easy 200s again engine is a uh, 641 horsepower 4.0 liter twin turbo charge v8 all right it is an eight speed automatic transmission I'm not sure if it has a dual clutch or not. I got to do my research. And it does weigh over 5,000 pounds. I think it puts it at 53.14 to be exact. Coming in at number 11, baby, 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 is the 2020 Chevrolet. Oh, my God. Did I just say that? Chevrolet Corvette, all right? Chevy Corvette, 2.8 seconds. The 2020 Chevy Corvette is powered by the 495 horsepower, 6.2 liter LT DOS V8 motor, all right? Don't forget that. It does have launch control system. Um, it does hurl that mid-engine, remember? First mid-engine Corvette from uh, zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Hammering through that quarter mile in 11.2 at 122 miles per hour. Does beat out the ZL1, unfortunately, at 11.3. But hey, you know what? Mid-engine, more, like I said, more more weight on that back end. And this is just ridiculous. And don't forget, uh, Hennessy is coming out with that 1,200 horsepower variant of this C8. Get your package in ASAP. The C8 is also starting, remember, below 60 grand. If you guys want that, please go get it now. All right, and coming in at an amazing number nine is the 2019 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. This baby is coming in at 2.8 seconds. Again, not too far off of the C8, all right? The Porsche GT3 RS, uh, again, may not be the quickest, but it is a twin turbocharged GT2 RS sibling. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, it is a 4.0 liter, so it's a 4 liter uh, flat six producing uh, 520 ponies under the motor. All right, the GT3 RS zips to zero to 60 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds. But then the GT2, remember the GT2 RS, this is a GT3 RS. The GT2 RS is 700 horsepower. So there's a little difference on those ends. Again, this was tested about last month. Price as this car was tested is at $208,000, but the base price is starting at 190. The engine is a 520 horsepower, four liter flat six, Seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission, and it is weighing about 3,200 pounds, so that's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and jump into number eight. It's not the newest, it's not even loud, it doesn't even run on gas. But it is a 2015 Tesla Model S P90D coming in, coming in, <laughs> coming in at an amazing 2.7 seconds. This is the quickest Tesla. Again, guys, it is the quickest Tesla. The company refuses to let, you know, um, cars and driver test, but it is what it is. 
This car is uh, also, you know, first sub 3.0 seconds on that. Um, zero to 60. Again, reaching the lowest it did. I best The best time for this one was a 2.7 seconds. But mid-range, usually people get 3.0 out of it. The car does, as tested, has a price tag of 134000 but a base price of 119 Especially for this model, you could probably find it even cheaper, uh, depending on mileage and stuff as such. Uh, the engine is a 532 horsepower um, electric motor, I guess, AC. Uh, I don't know how to really say that. And it does weigh for the 800 pounds. It is heavy. Again, we have batteries, but... When you got those motors, electric motors, it's no dealing with combustion and pedal gas, blah, 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 blah. This is just straight pedal to the floor, uh, electric signals, and bam. Coming in at number seven is a, ooh, she's looking nice, a 2019 Ferrari 488 Pista. And it is coming in at 2.7 seconds, all right? The Ferrari is a sick, beautiful, modern road car, all right? The 488 Pista. Um, it's pretty much all carbon fiber, man. Left, right, front, back, top, bottom, all over the place. Um, again, it's 0 to 60. is coming in at 2.7 seconds. 100 miles an hour, just 2.5, you know, ticks later. So, again, this thing almost hits 100 miles an hour in uh, some ridiculous, ridiculous times. All right, so it comes at the quarter mile. I think it completes that in 10.1 seconds at 144 miles an hour. Yes, you heard me right, 144 miles an hour. And as tested, this car has a price tag. Whoo, you, you ready for it? A price tag of $448,000. Base price is $353,000, but you'll never find one like that, okay? The engine is a 710, almost said 12, 710 horsepower, 3.9 twin turbo V8, seven speed dual clutch. Coming in, at 3,308 pounds. Whoo, next is one of my favorite cars, guys. Coming in at number five, we have the 2019 McLaren Senna. Again, 2.7 seconds. We got a lot of cars on this 2.7 seconds, all right? It is named after the legendary driver, uh, a uh, I'm gonna try to pronounce this correctly, Atron, all right? Atron Senna, all right? So it was developed as their quickest car around the track. But again, in a straight line too, it is super quick coming in from zero to 60 on launch control at 3000 RPM to be exact. Um, 60 again being 2.7 miles an hour. It takes five seconds to bring the car to 100 miles an hour and 5.4 for 150. So top end, this car isn't losing anything. It seems like it's quicker the lower you go. All right, so as tested, this car comes in at $982,000 with a base price of 964. So this one is pretty much base with uh, probably missing some window tints or something. But this is very light of a car weighing 3,030 pounds. Coming in at number six is a 2019 McLaren 720 Coupe. Yes, I am shocked. I am super, super shocked because the McLaren Senna has more power, but the 720 during this day on this test came in at a 2.6 seconds. Using launch control, again, zero to 60. The launch button and uh, was pressed, 3,200 uh, RPM and just ridiculous power. This car did a 0 to 60 and 2.6. I really can't complain, but I really do want to. At a price tag of 378000 with a base price of 288000 this engine is almost as close, like I said, to the Senna. 710 horsepower out of a twin turbo V8 pushing 4.2 liters. You know how that works. Of course, it is a dual clutch transmission at 3,161 pounds, almost about 200 pounds heavier than the Senna. So you would think that the Senna performed better, but sometimes every dog has his day. All right, I know I got some guys on here like my boy Exhaust Note. Check out his channel, Exhaust Note Channel. Um, number four, 2019 BMW M5 Competition. Yes, a BMW M5 coming in at 2.6 seconds. Oh my gosh. This car I've been to, I've ridden this car on a Uber. And now this car is number four, beating out some ridiculous supercars, hypercars, and just some regular cars in general. All right, so this is the quickest four-door sedan that is coming in from a zero to 60 at 2.6 seconds at a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8. This car, as priced, is $129,000. 
Also base price starting at 111. Okay, again, 617 horsepower, 4.4 liter twin turbo with an eight speed automatic transmission weighing 42,662 pounds. Almost 43, might as well call it 43. Coming in at number three, we are on our final three, guys. Can you guess? Let me see if you guys can guess in the comments below. What do you think it is? I'll give you a few seconds. All right, burp, time's up. This is a 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS coming in at 2.5 seconds. Yes, this is a 700 horsepower car. We talked about the GT3 earlier at what, 500 and something horsepower. This one is 700 horsepower, okay? It isn't the quickest car, but again, uh, from zero to 60, it's super quick. Uh, it just takes about 5.5 seconds to hit 100 miles an hour, which is amazing. 10.2 seconds to come in at 140 miles an hour with this twin turbocharged flat six engine. Uh, again, aerodynamics makes it a beast on a track. Uh, you'd think top end that'd mess with it, especially with its big wing and everything. But this car was spanking other cars coming around on a Nurburgring. And you guys can probably go on YouTube and check some of those videos out. All right, this car as tested, guys, comes in at a whopping $348,000. Base price is, drum roll please, $294,000. Again, on the engine, guys, we have a 700 horsepower, 3.8 liter twin turbo flat six. Seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. And this car does weigh a little hefty around a ZL1 weight, but it's coming in at 33,000. Oh, 33,000. It's coming at 3,376 pounds. All right, it's mean, it's green. Let's call it the Grinch. No, for number two, guys, we got a 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Now, this is a big gap right here because it drops all the way down to 2.3 seconds. Again, why? This is all-wheel drive, track beast. It is the big brother of the little girl, Huracan, okay? 631 horsepower, V10, all-wheel drive, sticky Pirelli, P0 Trofero R tires on there. Again, 0 to 60 at 2.3 um providing ugh, I, don't, I don't even know man that, that's that's the best time i've seen all day so far but we are at number two i'm excited to see what comes in as number one this lamborghini performante comes in at three hundred and seventeen thousand dollars with a base price of two thousand two hundred thousand and seventy nine dollars again remember guys we do have the 631 horsepower 5.2 liter v10 seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission this is a little heavier at 3,429 pounds. All right, last but not least, we got number one, number uno, the number before, number two, and after zero. Yes, that's still number one, I believe. All right, we got the 2015 Porsche 918 Spider. Yes, you heard it right, 918 Spider. We're jumping back into the hypercar range, okay? Coming in at 2.1 seconds. Yes, you heard me right, 2.1 seconds. It is a hybrid. It is all-wheel drive. Yes, it is a Porsche 918 Spider. Two electric motors up front combined to make 285 horsepower, um, paired with the 608 horsepower 4.6 liter V8. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I can imagine the torque. All right, but again, torque is up to what eight hundred and thirty pounds if you're call if you're including the motor, and I think with maximum traction that nine eighteen can blast what from zero to sixty in an amazing two point one seconds. Nothing is touching it, but you know what's touching it? The bank, guys, the bank, because this car, as tested, comes at eight hundred and seventy five thousand dollars with a base price of eight hundred and forty seven thousand dollars. But most likely, just like the McLaren Senna, they both say 800 and something thousand, but you're not going to get one for under 1 million bucks. So if you want this, please get the big checkbooks out, all right? Black card status. This car also comes with an 893 horsepower top end, all right? 4.6 liter V8 with two AC motors, seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Yes, that's why these cars are built with some crazy transmissions. But you ready for it? When you get that electric system, Tesla knows what I'm talking about. They come big weight heavy, weighing in at a stunning, astonishing, amazing, big girl, big Mac kind of style. All right. 3,724 pounds. That's a big girl. All right, guys, that is it for now. I appreciate it. 
appreciate shit. What kind of I appreciate shit. That's what I meant. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's become a bigger fam. All right. I love you guys. I respect you guys. And I salute you. Peace. Your reflection in my wine glass. That's when I look away. Can't stand and think about losing your fine ass. How the fuck I let you slip away? Life for the party, but